What's up guys? Welcome back to another Death Pro Duel video. And on top of that, uh, my 7000 subscriber special. Um, a big thank you to everyone for the support. And uh, to somewhat celebrate this occasion, I decided to pick up uh, one of my favorite archetypes of the game, uh, Zombies. And also with the new panelist putting Mizuki and uh, Blake Spirit to do. Uh, and also, let not, yeah, let's not forget Malicious at 3. I decided to feature this deck as my 7000 subscriber special. Uh, so anyway, enjoy the duels and of course the deck profile at the end. Alright, so off to the first game. Um, my opponent is playing like a Hazy Flame, a Fire King deck. Um, I have a pretty decent opening hand, like set the MST, set the Rangel. No reason to set, or at least yeah, don't set both. Uh, set the Turtle um, to let them attack into it, like... The moment I see that he's playing like Fire Kings, I know the turtle gets destroyed, I get like a goblin zombie. Um, I don't see a reason to activate Torrential like the Garonixes, uh, yeah, would have, yeah, would be special summon back during the standby phase uh, of mine next turn. So I'm just going to let them attack into my uh, three pyramid turtles and end with the goblin zombie, since we know the Garonix special summon back next turn, destroying my goblin zombie, so I can search out the zombie master from my deck. And uh, yeah, discard malicious, activate foolish, and so on. Um, then in the end phase, MST is only phase down, the mirror force. And uh, unless he has failure, um, he pretty much doesn't have anything to stop uh, my place now. So I immediately go for Larvala Chain. And um, due to. Uh, yeah, I, I lost my thought process here. Like, I was too much focused on the, the timer of, uh, of Death Pro. Like, it was already uh, halfway my turn. And instead of uh, reborning my uh, zombie master with Mizuki, I reborn another plague spreader. Um, so if I reborn my uh, zombie master from the grave, I would have been able to discard the Mizuki from my hand and go from there. Uh, so that would have been an extra monster. But anyway, go for Lavala Chain Stardust for a potential Dark Hole. And of course the Grimson Blader to... Uh, uh, yeah, put halt maybe to another Garonix, you uh, never know. Um, he calls... Uh, it's a uh, Garonix to survive the turn, but uh, we have the, the all powerful uh, Crimson Blader. Like, this is one of his yet. Because the next format is going to be a synchro format, Crimson Blader is going to play a huge role. Um, and yeah, he just uh, flat out scoops. So, already on a. Yeah, very, uh, really uh, pretty okay duel. Next, my opponent is playing like uh, a warrior, like yeah, Greffer, Malicious, uh, Necro Gardna build. I thought something like a T hero build. Um, so he's, he searches out his Greffer, discarding his Malicious, like set up his uh, Necro Gardna, uh, and uh, just going to end this turn. I MST his first phase down, uh, maybe yeah, hoping hitting, hoping to hit the Soul Morning, uh, so I can uh, yes. Probably safely attack with the trooper over his Greffer, but for some reason he failures my trooper. Um, I don't know why, maybe to protect his Greffer, but um, that would have made sense if he had something like in his hand to discard for next turn, like another, uh, yeah, maybe a Malicious or uh, a Necrogarna. Uh, I do have one for one Dainline in, in my hand, but uh, him having his Necrogarna in hand and the potential failure, I don't see. Uh, yeah, I don't see a reason to activate or at least uh, to make an already big move now. Um, so the Necro Garden is removed, he makes my stroke and now I I, I just have to uh, make a big push. I have a few options here. Uh, another option I could uh, have done was uh, to search out Failure instead of Spore and normal summon a Lone Fire to search out Spore and so on. But I decide to keep Lone Fire in hand for later. Um, then make Librarian first, then Scrap Dragon to get an extra draw. Activate Scrap Dragon, uh, target my call and this back row. Uh, just in case that it's Mirror Force that needs to get uh, rid of the field. Not going to attack, again, just in case of Mirror Force, I don't want to lose my Scrap Dragon and, uh, and uh, yeah, Hyper Librarian, like the Maestro is not that threatening. Um, I try it again, destroy his uh, first set face down. For some reason, he changed like Book of Moon thinking. Probably thinking that, uh, that uh, the Scrap Dragon, that, yeah, that Scrap Dragon's effect would have been uh, negated by the Book of Moon. But uh, yeah, that's obviously not the case. So the indeed it was a Mirror Force. The Mirror Force is destroyed, and uh, yeah, then there's like no reason to uh, uh, not go for a game, or at least uh, put me in a nice position. At least scoops. 
Alright, so the next tool of the video I put is playing Dark Worlds. Uh, so I again set the range, set the monster and pass. Um, this is excellent, like uh, the healing so I can uh, discard my malicious. So malicious is already set up in the grave. Uh, draw into the foolish and since he attacked with Silva uh, into my uh, turtle, uh, I can search out Plague Spreader from my deck. So and this is excellent, like uh, remove the malicious or uh, banish the malicious, special summon it. First make starters just in case he has something like Torrential uh, or Mirror Force later in the game. Then make Scrap Dragon uh, to destroy uh, his uh, one of his phase downs, like maybe expecting... Uh, yeah, I was expecting uh, uh, something like a regular street. Uh, then I saw the roll degree, so that's that's so, uh, was something that I was not expecting. Uh, although it was a nice hit, since now uh, my warning set is live. Um, looking at his hand, yeah, he cannot do anything. He does have a gorse, uh, which I also did not expect since he was running degree. Um, so here, this should be uh, always be game. Uh, he does have his gores, but I do have that warning set. Uh, again, the gores not expected since it's a bit strange like to run gores and degree in the same deck. But yeah, MST is at three, so you uh, yeah your all degree won't always survive. So I can get uh, his thought process a bit. Anyway, my next opponent is like playing again uh, Fire King uh, deck, Fire King build, uh, and this was an excellent duel. So he activates his onslaught, special summon a Garonix, uh, then searches out his uh, Wolf Bark, um, and then yeah, he's just going to normal summon Yaksha. So again, the Garonix is normally special summon during my next standby phase. But here's where uh, Wing Blast shines, like put that dead uh, Garonix yeah, back to the top of his deck and uh, set up Malicious. And again, just in case of Torrential or uh, like Mirror Force, uh, make that Stardust first. He does have a Torrential set, so maybe you should have torrential here, uh, like before I went for the Stardust. Or maybe he was risking like that would uh, go for Scrap Dragon first. So again, because he's playing... Uh, Fire Kings made that Crimson Blade to put uh, a possible uh, Garonix. Uh, yeah, that he cannot special summon his Garonix next turn through another Onslaught, for example. We know he has a Wolf Bark in hand, so uh, the failure in my head is going to stop his Wolf Bark. And also, his Baron was uh, set up to search something in his uh, in his turn during a semi phase. So, uh, I Book of Life did uh, like banish the, the Baron from his grave to special summon the Burma Turtle in defense. And uh, yeah, so everything uh, went according to plan, so that was pretty sweet, pretty nice. Excellent tool. Um, next, my opponent is playing uh, X Sabres, and X Sabres is also um, a pretty good deck for next format, like, but yeah, the, 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 the nerf on the ruling, like, uh, on Dark Soul, like, that it's not uh, stackable anymore, like, you can you cannot search multiple X Saber monsters from a deck with the same Dark Soul, uh, yeah, it does nerf the deck a lot. Uh, I do open with uh, Triple Typhoon, so I don't see a reason not to go uh, ham. And I also get really, really lucky with my Trooper Mills, like Mill Malicious and Mill Plague, so that's already excellent, excellent to set up. Um, I did not expect a Denki since... Uh, yeah, I expected that he would have uh, already activated in his opening hand. Um, so I, that's why I kept the MST in, the, in my hand. And then he's going to attack all the Trooper, which nets me a uh, Pyramid Turtle. And uh, luckily I do have that third MST for the Mirror Force, although a potential Stardust would have stopped the Mirror Force. So again, basically the same moves. Uh, get the Scrap Dragon to the field, the Goblin Zombie, the Turtle, and uh, since he only has like uh, yeah, 5,000 life points left, this uh, should always uh, be the game. Like, uh, yeah, destroy us, uh, monster from the field and attack directly. So unless Dragodia, unless Fader, this should always be game. Um, I accepted this rematch, so this is game two of the duel we had. It's like, I think, uh, yesterday or a few days ago. Um, he only sets one card. And look at my opening hand, it's not that super great. Uh, set the call, set the warning. Uh, call is going to be live because of the goblins on me. Um, there is the Bargard Knight, there is the Full Helm Knight. Uh, he flips his Dark Soul, so I can warning the Dark Soul, but just in case he has like the Fall Troll in hand, uh, that would have, yeah, would have been able, yeah, that would have been a, a stupid move. And uh, the Hewn Lay was coming, so uh, uh, obviously going to warning the Hewn Lay. And uh, he attacks my Goblin Zombie, so uh, I think I search out uh, the Zombie Master from my deck. 
Um, then since the Bogger Knight does have 1900 attack, uh, Suicide with Guard Trooper to get a plus, yeah, to get a plus, to get a draw off Trooper's effect. Excellent, set the Wing Blast, so the malicious in my hand is live. Here I was expecting or was, was guessing what his back rows were, like it was not prison since he would have prisoned my trooper. Um, Mirror Force was possible, um, so the, the chances of him having like a Gotham's Ecall uh, set uh, was definitely one of my possibilities that I was thinking of, so my plan here was to Wing Blast this Emerson Blade and uh, uh, yeah, make some synchros afterwards, uh, although he changes lands. Um, then I change my plan, make Scrap Dragon, try to destroy his Emmer's Blade, um, and there is indeed expect them, the expected, yeah, the expected uh, Gotham's Ecall. So here I think I have to uh, waste my Plaking Brave to go for uh, Hades. Um, so yeah, attack with Scrap Dragon first, full head knight negates, then attack with Stardust, and attack with Hades uh, over his uh, Dark Soul, so Dark Soul now is negated. And unless he has like a second Bogart Knight, I should have this game in the back, although he top decks an enemy controller. Like, he gets, with, with like two cards, he gets rid of my field, like, unbelievable, like he top decked one enemy controller. Um, so yeah, now I think this should be GG for him, like, we know he has uh, the Bogger Knight in hand, so the possibility of him having a full troll is also uh, really high. So, uh, there is a Bogger Knight, there is a full Hell Knight, and also the full troll, so full troll activates special summon Gotham, so I know I lose, I'm going to lose my trooper in hand also. Uh, I can stall a bit, like, get uh, another Pyramid Turtle to the field. But uh, yeah, I know this is pretty much hopeless. Um, my next draw is Failure, I believe, yeah. So a turn too late. If I would have had that Failure, I could have, uh, yeah, stopped the Bugger Knight and the Fall Troll play. And on top of that, he, like, he has another Fall Troll, uh, which I have to Failure, but the Scrap Dragon is coming, and this is always GG for him, so... Uh, um, yeah, lucky for him that he drew into his enemy controller to uh, get rid of the field. But yeah, that's Yu-Gi-Oh, nothing I can do, <laughs> nothing I can do about that. Alright, so the next duel. Um, here my boat is playing Bujins, and for the new format, like the new TCG format, Bujins are a strong deck, uh, but I'm not sure if they are tier 1. Like, uh, maybe with the new support from Shadow Spectres, uh, they can be tier 1. And here I was thinking to let the attack go through so I can uh, get a search off. Um, Although I think it was a better move to prison this monster and then just uh, like poke with the goblin zombie. Uh, uh, yeah, I was hoping not to mill uh, uh, one of his uh, bujins like the turtle or something that would activate in the grave. Uh, he normally summons another one, which uh, I'll let this attack go through to search out the plague spreader. Uh, he activates his geyser coliseum and that, uh, yeah, from my previous duels against the uh, bujins, uh, geyser coliseum is becoming like. Uh, an instant card for Bujins, like, we know Bujins is slow, so something like Geyser Colosseum can help them control the field. Uh, so again, Wing Blast to bounce back his, uh, his phase down, and MST to destroy the Geyser Colosseum uh, lets me uh, spam a few signals to the field, and just in case he has Honest in hand, uh, I Scrap Dragon his uh, Bujin monster on the field, attack with both Stardust and Scrap Dragon, and with, yeah, with that Solemn Warning set, uh, I can negate this only a normal summon for the turn, like maybe a possible Yamato or whatever. Uh, so normally I should have the game, and indeed I negate this uh, MST with Stardust, uh, and he doesn't have a follow-up, so... Again, a really nice duel. Uh, next, my opponent is playing Heretics, and Heretics is also a pretty, pretty solid deck for next format. With, with all his uh, OTK possibilities, and also with the uh, Wing Beat of the Dragon. Like, uh, a possible or semi-heavy storm, it's, it, it, yeah, the deck definitely has some potential. Um, I tried to bring out Dandelion, since yeah, with, well, with, yeah, with one for one in hand, Malicious in hand, uh, also the Failer, Mizuki. Um, I can make some plays next turn, although he failures my low fire. And also on top of that, the MSTs my uh, torrential, so he's able to uh, set up a field. Luckily, I do have a failure to stop the Atom, and he just passes. Um, so here, I don't see any reason not to bring out uh, Crimson Blader again. 
and to uh, pretty much seal a deal. So make Black Rose attack over his uh, Hieratic End with uh, Crimson Blader, attack over the Atom. And uh, so yeah, Bra Blader's effect activates like the a semi royal oppression. Um, so here again, normally I should have the duel in the back. He uh, duality's another death hit and just passes, uh, thinking that he's going to survive, but we know he's not going to survive. Normal summon Mizuki and bring out another malicious, and this is always GG unless, uh, yeah, unless Gorse. But uh, yeah, Blader is just, uh, yeah, a really powerful synchro. Alright, so the next duel. Um, my opponent is playing uh, yeah, the, the new Dragon Ruler, Plant Ruler, or whatever you want to call it, the uh, Dragon Ruler Plant deck. Um, but it, it's it's not the, the, the best uh, Dragon Ruler Plant player, uh, as you will see. Um, this is unfortunate, he MSTs my face down wing last, so I'm not able to discard the Mizuki from that. Um, here maybe I should have wasted, uh, waited with my MST, um, um, but yeah, I activate maybe a bit too soon, activate my MST on his first set card, so yeah, most of the time that's their uh, better card, and in this case it's a skill drain, so that's already really nice to, uh, to get it destroyed. Um, he draws it to another skill drain, sets it immediately and passes. Um, I draw a call, so not that great. I decide to foolish my uh, Goblin Zombie and uh, banish Mizuki to reborn my Goblin Zombie to the field. Um, since if the Goblin Zombie gets destroyed, I can just search out another Mizuki from my uh, yeah another Mizuki from my deck and uh, set up for next turn. I attack for 1100, and um, yeah, he special summons this Tempest here, not making another play. Like maybe should have banished this Tempest or may yeah, I search out the Breer or whatever. Um, yeah, he's just going to attack over my Goblin Zombie, uh, so I search out Mizuki again, draw another MST, and again, maybe I should have waited. Uh, yeah, because we, I, I know we place like multiple skill drains, yet yeah, it would be stupid like to only play one skill drain. Um, but again, him having the Maxi, uh, I just have to stop. I cannot uh, uh, make a big play this turn since my plan was to go uh, for like uh, uh, Laval Chain and so on. Uh, so I pass. He also again makes a strange move. Uh, only two tokens, uh, the, the Redux in defense. So um, I don't see a reason not to yeah, just attack the two tokens, set the Goblin Zombie uh, yeah, to temporize the world. I have control of the game uh, with double failure in hand. He can make a lot of plays, make, uh, make big, yeah, not make big eye, but, uh, or yeah, he can make big eye, but making big eye is not, a, is not a, the, the best move. Like, he can make. Um, Draco sec, but with double failure in hand, I don't see him making, uh, yeah, at least winning him the duel now. Uh, so, again, luckily, no Maxi this time, so normal summon the long fire, get that librarian to the field, then make Scrap Dragon first to get a draw off, so I can uh, uh, hopefully activate Scrap Dragon targeting my dead call, um, although he compulses, so that's a bit unfortunate. Um, so I attack his token and in May phase 2 put the Goblin Zombie uh, in defense since I'm only at 4,100 yeah, 4, life points, I don't want to risk anything. Um, this dragon is not bound since it was uh, tribute summoned uh, yeah, to the field last turn. Um, here I draw into the Gorse which is not live due to the Call of the Hunted, so my plan here was to uh, again try to go for Scrap Dragon. Uh, to destroy his uh, back row, since that's the most, uh, or yeah, at least the more threatening card. Uh, and it's only an MST, so uh, no worries about that. Then attack over the Tempest and just pass, again with double Veiler in hand. Uh, I don't see him winning this duel, like make Scrap Dragon or whatever, or, uh, or I mean uh, Draco Sack or a uh, Big Eye. Uh, double Veiler and Gorse uh, put me in a nice position. Uh, and here I draw into Malicious, so I have a lot of options, I can discard Malicious, uh, but at least I think the better play was to Normal Summon Goblin Zombie, uh, or Normal Summon Zombie Master, discard, Special Summon the other Zombie Master, discard Malicious, uh, and go for Blader, I can make a few more uh, Synchros, but uh, he already scoops, like, uh, yeah, Blader would have attacked over his monster for GG. Uh, yeah, anyway, let's see the deck list. Um, you have the basic six recruiters, like three turtle, three uh, goblins, uh, alongside two zombie masters, which is, I think, enough. 
double Mizuki and double Plague. The plant engine adds some nice synchro possibilities to the deck, and the combination malicious Plague is always nice. Yeah, no, yeah, always nice to have in the deck. Um, there's always the possibility to open with multiple malicious, although it's not that horrible since uh, with Plague you can stack your extra malicious to the top of your deck from your hand, and I already done that uh, a few times, so it's not that bad. Also, on a side note, uh, people are trying out uh, teleport, the emergency teleport with Krebens and Psychic Commander uh, with zombies, but that's yeah, that's just too much in mod deck. I wouldn't recommend that. Also. Uh, since Destiny Draw is also at 3, uh, people are also splashing Destiny Draws in the deck to try to revive the Teladet feeling. But uh, this is all, yeah, this also I wouldn't recommend since it's not that consistent anymore. And definitely now it's Stratos Band, you cannot search your deck uh, yeah, to get the, 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 the opening move we all know, you can normal summon Stratos, search malicious, Destiny Draw malicious, and so on. Um, yeah, Zombie Master and uh, Phoenix Wing Blast are excellent cards to get your Malicious in the grave, and that's uh, that should be enough. As for the rest, I think everything should be clear. If not, uh, definitely don't hesitate and ask the question in the comment section down below. Uh, there are a few cards that I really want in the main deck. Uh, like, the Breed Dragon is, is also really worth the spot, but due to a lack of space, I'm not running that. Uh, same goes for enemy controller. As we saw in the duel, uh, it's, it's a very powerful card, so I, I, I really want to main that one. Next, Burial from a Different Dimension to return your Plague Spreader and uh, Mizuki is also pretty cool. Um, the random Gaius in the main deck can also remove a lot of threats. And the last, uh, Dark Arm Dragon is not in the main deck. It has been going in and out. Uh, my luck with the card is, is not that high, it's, it's, it's really low. Uh, but I'm probably going to add it back in, uh, in the near future. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Guys, um, thanks for watching. Thanks a lot for the support. And feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Lead them signing out. Peace.